Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning back in to another DOY Creation 7 video. All right, guys, I am getting ready to share with you guys not a lot of finished product, but I'll show you what I have completed along with my whips and something else. All right, guys, uh, I am Jeanette, aka Soraya. And before I get started, you know, I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High Yah. So I took you guys along with me the other day to Walmart where I was picking up a bundle of the black red heart yarn and jumbo because I needed to make my um, son a hat and a scarf set. And I also wanted to make me a scarf or like a cow neck. So the weather here is like the last couple of days, it's been like really, really rainy. But the weather been back and forth with the coldness and then some days warm. Just a FYI. So anyway, I went on and finished my husband, not my husband, but my son, a simple black beanie. So I made him a simple beanie. And like I said, I always like to give my product, my uh, projects a little texture. You're not going to be able to notice it. But all I did was did the front and back posts uh, around the brim. So I made him a simple beanie for the winter. And then I made him a scarf, but um, usually I make scarves and I make them like really long, but he's only 10 years old. So he didn't have to have the longest scarf, but I made him a black scarf. So it's a nice size for him to, you know, wrap around his neck a couple of times. So he have his little set um, ready for the winter. I'll make him another one just to have, you know, a couple of these um, sets for him. I'll make him another one probably in a blue because he loves blue. But I need it black because... Um, I wanted to make sure it went with everything that he has. Okay. So a simple beanie with front posts and back posts. Okay. And this scarf is all double crochet. Red heart yarn. So that is ready for him. He's good. Okay. I want to show it to you guys before he actually, well, I just finished up the scarf today. So he couldn't have. Uh, uh, wear it today, even if you wanted to. But now I can go ahead and deliver it to him. So, um, so that was all that I really completed. Completed. I was watching um, Little John's um, creation, and she was showing this device where um, you know how you have color combos and. Maybe you're the kind of person that really doesn't know how to put colors together. Me, I just go with colors. It's no ram or reason with me. I figure I just put two colors together or I put three colors or even four colors together. And I like to just work on it and just see how it works out. So here I'm working on a, this is a whip that I'm working on. And I decided to use... Now, a lot of people will be kind of scared to put these three colors together. Um, but I work. I put these three colors together. This is in the mainstay gold. This is a mainstay. Uh, mainstay gold. Some white with mainstay. And then I had the big twist and turquoise. So when I was looking at these colors, I was like, you know what? I was first working on just these colors right here. But then I went on and add this color because I'm not afraid of colors and how it turns out is how it turns out. What am I working on? I am working on a granny square poncho. Now just get started with it. But this is how the colors are looking thus far. So I was just working on 
these two quarters, tour quarters in white. And I thought it was just going to be too, a little bit too uh, plain for me. So I just wanted to bring it in a little bit more pop. So I added the gold. Okay. So I added the gold. And I think it's working out really nice. I think the colors are playing together. I got a row done. Oh, yeah, almost a row done. I think the colors are playing together really, really nice. So that is what I'm working on. A granny square poncho. So stay tuned to see how that is working up and how that's going to turn out. And that way I get to, when I do that, basically I'll be just trying to get rid of some yarn. I'm using my, um, my boys number 15, I mean, number 10 or the letter N crochet hook for this project. And I think it's a project that I'm not in a hurry for it. Nobody is waiting for it. So I just wanted to go ahead and get started with those colors because I'll let you know what I was getting ready to say in a second. Another thing that I'm doing, I wanted to show you guys like my project bags. Like some of them have projects in there and some of them doesn't. So guys, I'm working on myself a, this is project bag number one. Now this bag right here is a metro bag. Anytime that I go to any type of events, I always grab a lot of places have like free bags. So you can, whatever you purchase, you can just store it in a bag. Like I went to the event with my daughter and I, we went to Black the uh, Black Expo. And so I believe that's where I got this Metro bag from. But this is one of my project bags. And it's in purple. Not sure what color is showing up, but it is in purple. And here I have the remaining of the black. And I've already got started with my cow neck scarf. Okay. So I'm making it for myself. And just like I got my chest open right now, I just want it enough to, I can just put something around just to give, um, you know, my neck some coverage. So I just got started with this one today. And as you can see, it's not really big or anything. I think I'm going to go either. I'm going to roll like four. Actually, I'm getting ready to go on roll five. One, two, three, four. I might do this uh, uh, 10 rows or 15 rows. I'm not for sure. But I want it up enough where, at least right here, up enough that, you know, it covered my chest area. So, and this right here. These type of projects, they do not take a long time to make the, um, the cow neck. Now, the reason why it looks a little bit smaller, I just start chaining. I was getting ready to chain a certain number, but I was watching TV. And you know how they always saying, call them for something. And they kept saying the number and I lost track of how many chains I did. So I just kept putting it around my neck to see how you know, how did it drape down? So in this project bag, I am working on that. I'm using one of my, my plastic, um, hard plastic crochet hook. This one is in the letter L or this is an eight millimeter. Okay. Now, when I did this one here, when I got ready to make the scarf, I actually tried to use I really did. I went there, y'all. I went there. I tried to use my, my clover, my clover hook in a size 12. I try to use that, but it's really not for a four ply. It is definitely for a thicker yarn. I just love this one so much. I got to do a review on all of my, my stuff. So in this, um, Y'all have seen this bag plenty of time, but this is where I keep my crochet hooks. So in this particular um, project bag, that is what I'm working on. Okay. So I'll just take that wherever I go. 
but I'm going to try to finish this up this weekend. It, it really is a one day project, but I don't know if I'm going to be um, crocheting anymore today, but that is in project bag number one. And then guys, I have this bag right here. Now this bag definitely is from an event built in Chicago for Chicago, make it yours. This is definitely a project, I mean, um, a bag that I picked up. I tell you, I grabbed all those bags and I have given away a lot of these type of bags. Um, and some people I give to and they just never return back. I mean, you know, so here's another project bag that I have. And so in this bag right here is where I make, I take my jewelry. So sometimes I like to make jewelry on the go. So I have this little craft store storage box where I have all my little backings and fish hooks and, um, you know, all, all the things I need to make a, to make my earrings. And so I'll have like my, um, I have like all of my cutting supplies, my, you know, my flat nose pliers and, you know, things you need to make, you know, jewelry. So this is basically my jewelry bag. So another thing, guys, uh, make sure that if you are ordering the jury, I got a few of you guys that ask for certain numbers, um, and some of the numbers are the same numbers. And so what I'm going to do with that one is um, you need to email me right away if that's what you want, those particular numbers, and then I can send over uh, the secured PayPal invoice. And once the invoice is paid, I can go ahead and get those earrings shipped on out to you um some of you guys asked me the four dollars was it per earrings no it's not per earring it's for your total purchase so it's a flat shipping fee so regardless if the shipping probably cost me a little bit more i'm just charging that flat four dollars shipping cost okay so if you order four pairs if you order six pairs or however many pairs you order it's just that one four dollars shipping cost um, but because I'm seeing numbers, the same numbers is asked for the same, um, merchandise. I'm just going to go by with whoever is contacting me first. Um, and I'm making sure that I'm putting my email address down below. So just email me with your numbers and then I can let the next person know that you email me. I've already, uh, dedicated that color or those, I mean, those numbers to you. And then we can move around like that. Okay. So make sure you emailing me and first come first. That's how it's going to go. First come first serve. So I have more of my shipping, my um, earrings and all my supplies in this bag. I don't need to pull it all out. Do I? No, I don't think so. So my next project bag is my jewelry bag where I just take all my jewelry and i like to play around with it sometimes when i'm like on break or lunch i like to be inspired or something could inspire me so i'll go ahead and you know start making stuff oh i like that that really inspired me so i do do it like that a lot another one of my project bags now these next two bags i'm getting ready to share with you guys I picked up right from the Dollar Tree. So here is one of the bags. I really liked it, this one right here. I liked it, the flowers. I like the print. It's just a black and white bag. Okay, it's a dollar, so. Now, you guys know, or if you don't know, I don't like to have a lot of things on my hook. So this project right here that I'm working on, this will go into this bag because this bag is large enough to fit everything in. So I just put all three of these skeins in here or skein, skein, potato, potato, and put my project in here. And now 
this one is ready to work on and see how it just it just fits a lot i like it because it fits you know as many yarns as i need so there's another one guys nice print and black and white beautiful the next project bag is this one right here and i did pick this up from the dollar tree as well i like that this one is a different this one has that rain material um like those rain coats or something like that material so i really liked the, this one right here i liked it the color and i like the print it's a smaller bag for a smaller project now i do have some of the um the purple and the yellow that was left over from my custom order um so i'm going to be just combining these two together or i probably just pull out another one i don't know but i do have these two left over if i wanted to make something a little bit more smaller but there's another project bag right from the dollar tree and this one had i didn't have this one for a while and i can say this one it has it has endured so it's not like a cheap material it really is a nice quality material and it's definitely great for the rain so that's my fourth one now my fifth one i made this fifth one out to be a project bag but it's not a project bag that I'm gonna have on the go. This one here is basically for the home only. So you guys know I worked on a large, I might use that for that. I worked on this large t-shirt bag. Uh, Jenny from Proverbs 31, bless me with more t-shirt yarn so i made this bag right here but in this bag let me just take out some of my scrap here is my granny square scrap blanket i don't even want to take it all the way out but there's my granny square scrap blanket so i decided to put it in this bag because this bag right here is t-shirt so it gives it stretches so now I am just going to be, I had some camo, a little bit camo left over. Uh, can't do anything with it. So I'm just going to add it to it and a little, okay, why? Just why I just can't toss this. But this is going to be added to it. I'm not for sure if this purple and this yellow is going to be added to this blanket. Uh, most likely it will be. I don't know. I don't know if I just want to do a stripe hat because the person, they didn't want me to, um, you know, make a hat. So I don't know. I'm just going to make it anyway. I'm not for sure. But yeah, so I have this as a project bag, but this is more of a home project bag. Um, I'm not toting this blanket with me. I tote this blanket uh, one day to work. And it was just overwhelmingly hot. I had it on my lap or whatever. This blanket is really for me to work at home. I have my, my TV directly on this side right here where I can just be watching whatever program or watching YouTube or whatever I'm doing and finish working on this blanket, okay? So the blanket is at a nice size already. You guys have synced it several times um but i'm definitely i definitely have that as a project project bag but it's a home project bag now that that is one of them the second one with this one i i didn't have this as a project bag this is just too beautiful to be a project bag but this one is a yarn bag this is my yarn bag but i wanted that one to be a project bag that one probably in the future may turn out to be a project bag but right now i really love and y'all can see all my crochet stuff right here i really love um 
how it looks on my stand, this whole stand right here. I love how it looks over there. So I don't need to, I don't need, I don't want to be traveling with it to get it dirty or anything. Along with even this one here, I'm just going to continue to be adding more yarn until I feel like I don't want to add any more to this one here. And the reason why I'm going to continue to add to this one here is when I look at it, you know how you, when you're doing a granny square and you need to make it around, I didn't make it a complete box. I didn't make it a complete square. So I want to add these other colors so I can get back to a complete square. And I think once I get to a complete square, you know, make my whole round, I may start another um, scrap blanket, but the blanket is going to be a scrap blanket pillow. It's going to be a, it's going to be made into a pillow, you know, so I have the blank, the, uh, the blanket and I'll have the pillow. And that is how I'm going to do that. So anyway, guys, that is all that I worked on today and this week. I wasn't as productive as I would like to be, but sometimes, you know, you can't be on speed all the time trying to get these projects done because they are everlasting. They all, it's always going to be something um, that you need to do. Again, I'm going to leave um, the video to the earrings. So in case you guys need to see that video again, um, the sale is still going on. Buy one, get the second one half off. I got a flat uh, uh, shipping fee of $4. I'll leave that video at the end of this video, just in case you missed it or just in case you want to check it out and re whatever. But please make sure you email me because that's the only reason, that's the only how I know if you're serious about the numbers that you are referring to, okay, or referencing. Let me see, guys. I think that's it. Yeah, that's all I got. Really? That's all I got. All right, guys. That's all I wanted to stop in to share with you guys today. Again, thank you so much for tuning back in to another video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you leave it in the comments below. And until next video, always remember y'all some 68.4 in your King James version. Always keep your life and your health in check. And I'll be checking with you guys in the next video really, really soon. All right, bye for now.